Welcome to part number two. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome once again to the channel. It's always great to have you back. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Remember that in this channel, we talk about process and chemical engineering for both students and professionals. So I, I really encourage you to check out part number one, which is essentially what I accomplished and why I didn't, which goals were completed and which goals were not, especially the reasons behind that. And more importantly, to understand all the future goals that are coming in this 2022. So I'm kind of excited for 2022. To be honest, in 2020, it was a great year. A lot of people went back home and started doing some home office or studying back home, going online. And that helped all the online community, all the online courses started to boom. And it was true also for myself. But then 2021 hit and I know a lot of you guys were tired and bored of always going back home, doing home office, studying uh, in your bedroom maybe, or maybe going to some conferences, a lot of online learning, a lot of YouTube, a lot of Netflix. So screen time all the time. I know that's not great. That was also my case. I kind of get away from the computer, try to do some hiking, more active sports. But I really felt that 2021 was kind of demotivating or I was not that active. I was kind of like indifferent on creating content. And something happened in 2022 that started to make me like feeling more optimistic on what's going on. So 2022 is going to be great. Or at least those are my plans. And I also hope that is the case for you guys. And I want to share a little bit more on these plans, specifically for my project, the chemical engineering guy. Uh, the website, the podcast, the courses, the YouTube channel, what type of videos you will expect or content, all that. Of course, a little bit more on TikTok, Instagram, all social media I have currently working on. So essentially a master plan for 2022 for the chemical engineering guy. One thing I really want to share with you guys is that I was checking out on the new year's resolution, how to set better goals, how to actually work towards that, be productive and just not ignore the goals that you have along the year because it's pretty easy to set goals in January, but then you're in August, July, October, and then December, you don't care about them. So it's very important to always check. So one thing I want to share with you guys, which uh, was telling that the specific person on productivity and all that is that just stick to one word. So what word do you want 2022 to define it? And I was thinking maybe on productivity, maybe on wealth, maybe on growing. But to be honest, I had to be more specific. I changed all these optimistic things and I said I need to redefine my goals redefine myself professionally, redefine myself personally. And I really enjoy the, this concept, one word, which word will you choose? Well, mine is redefine. And this is what I'm going to be doing, redefining all my projects within my projects and even redefining my courses, content and all that. So you're going to expect a lot of that, a lot of redefining my YouTube channel content, a lot of redefining courses, redefining uh, who I am aiming for the market, uh, students, professional, all that. So let's get started with my business, essentially the project chemical engineering. So what I want to do is to focus on to 70% recurring revenue, meaning that I want to go to the next month and know that at least 70% of the revenue I get is always going to be there. And uh, one month, two months, three months, etc. And I want to focus more into growing this revenue part of the business. I don't want to focus that much into selling single courses. I want to focus more into the monthly subscription model. I really think it's way powerful, both as a business plan and also as a educational tool. It's way easier to select one course and say to the student, okay, click this link, go to this course, check out this content. Or remember going back into heat transfer whenever we're talking about uh, mass balance. Or maybe we're talking about process simulation and going back into the actual, I don't know, maybe binary distillation, the McCabe field diagram, understanding the number of stages and all that. I really think it's way easier just to have access to everything and make connections within the course or syllabus. For this, I will try to, of course, make more uh, promotion or push more into the membership uh, content rather than the individual cell. Even though I know that individual cells are still strong, I know a lot of people prefer to just buy once and forget 
uh, monthly subscriptions or recurring payments and that's fine i'm not against uh, people buying on just once on my content i'm really happy that they commit to that but what i want to do is to like expand the membership and make it very very worth it pretty similar to skillshare that you say okay it's just 15 dollars, but you have access to a lot of courses impossible to finish all the courses in a single month i feel confident on my subscription because I have a lot of value. Talking about value, I will need to add more content. Specifically, I have been thinking on mini courses, I have been thinking on bundles, I have been thinking on webinars, I have been thinking on maybe Q and A's, maybe interviews and all that. And of course, the almighty full courses. So mini courses are those courses that are just aimed for maybe landing people. So a free course, one hour, two hour course to get introduced to get introduced into, I don't know, any topic, oil and gas industry or process simulation or material balances, maybe unit operations or so. Then what I want to do is bundle. I want to make mini courses because I know it really feels great to finish one course in a day, two days, rather than finish one course in one month, two months, six months. So what I want to do is these bundles, which have little mini courses, and eventually when you finish the bundle, you feel satisfied that you are now in control of that topic. For instance, if we're talking about momentum, I will do a mini course on pipes, a mini course on pumping, a mini course on compressing, a mini course on how to size equipment, a mini course on uh, how to price and cost estimates, all that. Also, talking about courses, I'm going to be still loyal to courses. I really think that courses between two to five hours are the best for these technical things. Uh, I really think one to two hours, you cannot go deep uh, the simple sake of explaining one very deep exercise is about 30 to 40 minutes so you only have time for maybe one or two problems and a little bit of theoretical concepts but if you have time you can go deeper i also want to improve the way on presentation i want to make more more projects more interactive uh, things that you feel that you are doing and not just watching the content also talking about the presentation, I want to present myself more often. I know that I typically do it just on sections. What I want to do is work more towards the whiteboard, not only screencast, just showing the screen and my voice. I want you to see me and feel this interaction of the instructor and the student. So talking about the online courses you may see, or mini courses and bundles and full courses, I will be working towards oil and gas. I want to present more the process engineering side of the oil and gas industry more into maybe cleaning natural gas, how we collect it, the perforation and drilling, how we produce natural gas, how we clean it, how we distribute it, how we store it. Also more into the oil part, uh, more into the exploration part, also into the production part, work deeper in the refining processes, cracking, all these little details that are okay just to know them in the overall idea, but going deep Especially if you're a process engineer, you want to go deep in the understanding of these unit operations. I will be also working into process simulation in two aspects. Of course, Aspen Tech is going to be the main software I will be working with. I want to make more on HiSys, or HiSys Bootcamp, HiSys for oil and gas and all that. I want also to work on the certification of Aspen Plus and HiSys. I may be working towards a webinar or a training course for the certifications which if you remember from previous video, I want to get certified. And not only that, I want to prepare a course or a training program for all those persons that may want this certification, which is currently free. And I don't know, they may not know where to get started, where to learn. This will be the best course for you. The second aspect I want to work on will be the process simulation with free tools. For instance, DWSIM or maybe Coco simulators. A lot of you guys are always asking me, how can you model something without having a license and of course doing illegal uh, licensing with Aspen Tech? The best way is to go with a free simulator. And I know there's not that much content online on how to work with online simulators. So I will be working on free mini courses, on also paid courses, and more specific courses for distillation, heating, uh, full plants, and all that. I will be also working with reactor engineering, which I know guys, a lot of you know me because of that. Yeah, you started watching this playlist on reactor engineering, you like it, and you were expecting the course. I know there's no link for the course. It's because it does not exist. 
So what I will be doing is working a lot with mini courses on reactor engineering. I want you to know all steady state type of reactors, uh, uh, kinetics, how to model several type of reactions and actually apply them to the reactor design and all that. And of course, mass transfer operations or units or separation technologies, all these, especially a membrane technology, especially a lot of distillation, a lot of liquid-liquid interaction, all these things that may be like very small things on your curriculum and eventually you go as a graduate and you don't know that much into, I don't know, uh, extraction or distillation and you want to know more of that, I'm going to be working on that. So those are the new courses, but of course what I want to do, I want to standardize the courses because some courses have quizzes, some other courses have projects, some other courses have only written content, some courses have solved problems, other courses do not. So what I want to have is a unified structure of courses. So a presentation, trailers, the colors, the branding, all will be pretty similar. What I want to do is to update previous courses, such as my very first UL, which is material balances or mass balance course uh, back in 2014, was not the same on what is right now the online education. I want to make it more fresh. Uh, I want to make it more interesting for you guys. I want. I know that this is one of the very first subjects that you will encounter as a chemical engineer or a student. And I'm pretty sure that this is the hook. If you like it, you will keep with energy balances, you will keep with thermo, you will keep with all this all the way until you graduate. I also want to improve the website, talking about the standardization. I really think that some branding or rebranding will be great. Uh, I want to make it more SEO optimized, more tags, way easier to navigate. I know it may not be the easiest way to navigate. It's pretty straightforward, I know, but way easier. Show products sometimes, some more dynamic content. Right now it's pretty static. So working towards that in this 2022. Talking of which, I want to work also in the pop-up, the landing page and all that. And of course that implies on having a great hook or newsletter system. Uh, right now I offer a free ebook, but it's only for process simulation. So I want to do something more for overall process engineers or overall chemical engineers that will get value since the moment you land in the website. And for this, I want to also prepare more ebooks. I have in mind to prepare two free ebooks and two paid ebooks, meaning that I want to monetize a little bit on that side. I'm still thinking on what will be a correct approach towards this because you know ebooks either they have a lot of value or they may be very short but very uh, impactful so I'm working towards that what will be something that chemical or process engineers are willing to pay for an ebook interesting one and the free ebooks will be something useful maybe some process engineering tips some uh, simulation tips maybe some uh, how to survive chemical engineering or so maybe sizing, uh, casting, uh, I don't know, rules of thumbs, anything that may be valuable and I don't know, something enjoyable for some free exchange of, you give me your email, I'll give you this ebook. And of course I do this not only for the sake of my current students, but I want to grow my website traffic. I don't remember the numbers, I will be posting them in my blog post if you want to check it out, but I want to grow that number by maybe 20 to 30% yearly so it will be great to i don't know maybe if i'm in the 10 case to have 12 case by the end of the year and of course more traffic more people see my content more students are getting to know the content and they are subscribing maybe this helps to subscribe into monthly subscription and this all gets into this cycle talking of which if we're talking about uh, growing traffic i really think that there are some tools that may help the blog, which I already have. 2021 was not a year which I worked a lot with the blog. I really think it's not the best way to grow nowadays. Even though I know that there's a lot of things, a lot of people just search in Google and they end up in a blog, chemical engineering world or chemical engineering blog, anything like that. And they get to know that. So it will be great to have this like top blog on chemical engineering processes or unit operations and then they get to know my courses and then they subscribe. That will be a great way to attract more traffic. And for this I'm thinking on working on a strategy on making two types of content. Content from my existing lectures, meaning that I will be like transcribing my lectures and of course having the typical content from Wikipedia or so and modify it for chemical and process engineering. So if we're talking about the heat exchanger, uh, what are the typical formulas and all that, 
Uh, Wikipedia is great for showing you kind of random things, not in the sense towards study, it's more towards like oral, what's a heat exchanger. But if you want to learn more on the operation, sizing, costings, and all that, I really think that I can make some blog posts on that and maybe see if it's going to be great for traffic. The other aspect I will be working towards traffic is the podcast. Uh, season one is already on air. Season two was going to be on 2021, but since it was not the best year for myself, I had a lot of interviews, a lot of uh, recorded content still pending to be edited. And once I edit that, some are on video format, some are audio format. Once I get that, I will be publishing them for season two and hopefully be preparing season three for next year. Hopefully, let's hope for the best. Now let's talk about more into the social media. Uh, we already discussed the website on overall business, but social media is a powerful tool to grow. And I have been working with my Facebook groups, Facebook pages, I have been working with my LinkedIn, I have been working also with Reddit and all that. And I will be posting specific numbers on that on my blog post. But for now, what I want to do is to get more active in Reddit, at least once a week, post something and help other people, maybe two or three questions, try to answer them, help them and guide them to maybe having a better orientation on what's chemical engineering or what are they looking for, etc. Talking about the membership of the groups, LinkedIn, Facebook groups and all that, I really want to start more into making a community, not just a random group of random strangers asking for stuff. It will be great to make an actual community. And to be honest, this is the hardest part. Creating online communities is not easy, but if you create them, it's powerful because they share similar interests, which is great. I know that in 2021 review, I said that I will be working more towards IG or Instagram. I will be posting more, making some stories and all that, something that didn't happen that much. Not only that, I forgot completely, or I don't know if I forgot, but I didn't include it, TikTok or YouTube Shorts, which is essentially kind of similar material, just very quick content that attracts your attention. And for sure is something that I will be working on this 2022. And finally, probably you're wondering, what about YouTube, this channel? So what are the content that you're going to be uploading and all that? And for sure, the very first goal will be to achieve the 100K subscribers by end of year. So yes, I have about 11 months to grow almost twice as we are. So 40K uh, subscribers by end of this year is of course something very ambitious, but at the same time, it's only 100K, right? It's not that much in YouTube. So I will be working and for this, I will be making at least one video per week, trying to make it maybe two videos per week, adding some shorts, some live questions, live Q&A sessions or AMA, anything that may attract the people all around. And also I planted several playlists. So if you're into like, I don't know, maybe salaries review around the world, I will be making them. If you are into several industries, I will be a, doing a playlist on industry reviews. If you're into companies, I will make a playlist talking about companies. If you're into engineering books, either technical or more like a relaxed, chill uh, rev, I will be working towards book reviews for engineers. I will be also working towards biography. There's a lot of chemical engineers that we don't even know about that definitely are worth the video. I will be making some vlogs or day in the life of a chemical engineer or whatever. And for sure, I will be doing monthly reviews of what's going on in the chemical industry. For sure, it's something that we need to attack in a very like more dynamic or spark way because I, a lot of videos are already online and they are not so catchy. So people or chemical engineers are not that interested in learning what's going on with the industry, which is for sure not great for us engineers overall. And if you have any suggestion on YouTube content series, or maybe uh, let me know if you follow some other engineer, maybe chemical engineer, or most likely not a chemical engineer because there's not so many right now. But if you follow someone that you really enjoy their content, or if you think that I may get inspired like checking other people's content, let me know. I'm pretty open to see what other people, especially in the engineering realm, are doing in YouTube. And finally, guys, the new goals. These are like different from 2021. I have been adding goals. And the very first one will be the rebranding. As I stated before, I will be making 
a landing page and all that but for sure what i want to do is to separate myself the chemical engineering guy from the academy so i'm thinking about changing name from the academy online academy or training center i have been thinking about but it will be way better to receive a diploma on behalf of the academy rather than on behalf of the chemical engineering guy which sounds kind of informal so that's one thing I want to work on. I also want to do trimester checks, which is essentially on January, April, July, I think October. So essentially every three to four months do a check. How well are we doing? Are we going in the right direction? Did we accomplish something? If we did already, how can we even surpass that? And if we're failing in something, how can we redirect in order to achieve the final goal? So essentially a little video on this, way shorter. This is like long format. Those will be very quick videos on these issues. And more importantly, guys, I don't know about you, but I never paid for uh, marketing or paid for inorganic sales. And I know I'm leaving money on the table because to be honest, I'm not that great on that. So I need to hire someone. And I have a friend which knows about uh, marketing, Facebook, uh, essentially e-commerce. So what I'm going to be doing is for the very first time since 2014, that's about seven to eight years, I will be paying some cash to get to other people. Let's see how it goes. It may, it may be working or it may not work. So either way, I will be happy to explore that alternative. I'm really not a fan of spending or ads. I really hate when I see ads, but sometimes it really works, especially if you are looking for something that you think is valuable for yourself. It's always great to see that advertised. And of course, I will be trying to make a very friendly uh, social media platform dependent ad. So if we are in Facebook, I will be doing some videos for Facebook. If we are in Instagram, I will be making some stories for Instagram. If we are in LinkedIn, will be something more professional and so on. So let's see how it goes. I'm looking forward for that uh, new experience, let it be. And that will be it, guys. This is my 2022 master plan, uh, goals that I need to follow in order to ensure that I am going in the right way. So if I accomplish at least 80% of these goals, I will be really, really happy. 90%, 100% will be like an extra. And thank you a lot, guys, for the support. The mere fact that you're checking out this content is good enough. Thank you, for, thank you for your likes. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for sharing this content, especially sharing to other chemical engineers that may get value from this content. As usual, I'll keep doing what I have been doing, which is online content for chemical engineers, either in online courses format or maybe videos for YouTube, for Instagram. This time TikTok maybe, LinkedIn, whatever the format it is, I'm looking forward for creating content for you guys. Please do let me know if you have any comments, suggestion, doubt, or whatever you may have in your mind. Please let me know in the comment section down below. And that will be it guys. Thank you for your support once again, and I'll see you in the next video.